welcome, my name is Auntie and today I'm here to do my September book haul. September was my birthday month. I was very lucky enough to get sent a bunch of ARCs in the same month. So let's talk about them. First two books I got were from HarperCollins. This one is Act Cool by Tobley McSmith. So aspiring actor August Green gets this really coveted spot in a very prestigious school of performing arts in New York. Um, his parents are very conservative and is not going to support him if he does end up transitioning. Basically in the city he can live with his aunt and if he wants to do that he should not transition. August is really convinced that he can actually play this part of acting cool. <laughs> Try to be as true to himself as possible. Just seeing what he's like doing the nighttime and how he kind of deals with things. I really don't know much more about this but it feels like a very heart-wrenching sweet story. I'm expecting to get a lot of hope from it and I don't think I've really read a book centered on a trans main character. So this is definitely going to be very interesting to read and I'm very excited to pick it up. The next one I got was White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. I've heard of this author quite a few times. I don't know if I've read anything else by Tiffany. I'm pretty sure we had like this uh, conversation with the author with this HarperCollins event and oh my goodness it sounded super intense and I'm really excited to see what it is about. It is a psychological thriller so it's basically um, I think it's described as Get Out means The Haunting of Hill House, which that show was super creepy. So <laughs> I think this is going to be very exciting. I don't know much more about it really. This girl has to move t into this town called Cedarville, I think, and is living in this new house with her bratty stepsister who's like 10 years old. And I think things go really wrong. I'm not really sure what to expect out of it. And I don't want to know much more about it because I feel like it can get very exciting really quickly. The next book I actually won a giveaway for from Tor Books and that is Under the Whispering Door by TJ Kloon. I was so excited to get this book. This is one of my most highly anticipated book of this year and I have actually finished reading this. I do have a September wrap-up in which I talked about this. We're following around Wallace Price who is being whisked away uh, by Reaper during his funeral. That's when Wallace kind of realizes that he is probably dead and he gets taken into this tea shop of a place and he does not know why he's there for any reason. He wants to go back to his old life and he ends up meeting Hugo. Hugo essentially tells him that he will help Wallace to cross over and that's when Wallace decides he, yes he's definitely dead. Three days go by and Wallace is given an ultimatum that he has to cross over in seven days and Wallace is really transitioning into being such a good person when he really really was not in his actual life. He's really trying to fix what he really was like and be a better person. It's just really nice. I really enjoyed this book. I would highly recommend you guys to pick it up. There's some really nice side characters in here that was really fun to read from and I enjoyed it overall. It's a really nice book and I'm really happy that I got it. Another book that also got sent my way by HarperCollins was These Precious Days by Anne Patchett. So these are just a bunch of essays. It's a reflection on the author's home, family, friendships, and writing in this deeply personal collection of essays. I don't really know what to expect out of it, but I do want to give it a shot just to see like what the author has to say. I'll definitely try to read a couple of essays at least to see what it's about and if I do enjoy it, I will continue on with it. Yeah, I did get sent this book and it definitely made me really happy. This next book was also gifted to me for my birthday and it's She Who Became the Sun by Sheila Parker Chan and I've heard so many mixed emotions about this book. On the one side, people saying that they love it, it's really fun, it reminded them of Poppy War. Some people DNF this book completely because they're like this is not what I wanted. Some people really did think it was like the Poppy War and wanted to read the Poppy War so it didn't really mesh. Anyway, I did start reading this book. I'm not picking it up as much as I want to. Like it's interesting and all but then it's not like the first thing that I would pick up every single day. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. In about 1345 China we have this girl and the story goes that the boy in that family is going to have such a great life and the girl is going to be nothing. Basically things turn around really differently when it bunch of hoodlums. Gangsters essentially comes over and kills the brother and the father and this girl is left all alone. Ju basically takes over Ju Changba, her brother's life, in order to survive and she goes to this monastery kind of a place in hopes that she can actually survive what is coming for her. So she's just trying to survive basically and not die of hunger and she gets through a bunch of trials and tribulations to be where she is right now and we're trying to see like what's up. I I really do think this has a lot of potential and it does sound like something that I would really enjoy and I would love to read the rest of it. <laughs> Alright my camera died. So the final book that I wanted to talk about was Son of the Storm by Sui Davies Okumbova. 
It's a beautiful book. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the author's name right. I, I don't know if I butchered it. If I did, please correct me. This one, I have a no idea about. I saw it many times on booktube and I really wanted to see what it's about. It's a very beautiful looking book. But let's read what the plot is about together. In the city of Bassa, Dansu is a very clever scholar. He can achieve greatness, but he really does not want to. So he likes to figure out the forbidden things outside of the city. The Bassa, like elite people, claim that there's nothing of import in the city, but immigrants are also sworn into secrecy. They're not allowed to say anything about the city. Today, Dansu kind of stumbles across this magic power, which was forbidden. And so he realizes Bassa's like deepest and darkest secrets, and he wants to learn more about that. This is an epic fantasy so I'm really interested to see what it is about. I'm very excited to get to this one. It's a pretty long book. It's about 450 pages so it might take me quite a bit to get through it. I'm also very excited to get to this one. Alright guys, those are all the books I got in the month of September. I'm very excited to get to all of them. If you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Anne Sue. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time with another one. Until then, I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye! Thank you.